25 Ford Maverick Hybrid is expected to, well, be very popular with that hybrid powertrain. It's going to be all-wheel drive and the base model, the XL here, starting at $26,295, standard 2.5 liter hybrid engine. How does that hybrid engine work? What is it? Well, let's first start with the basic stuff. Let's do a 101 and get into the nitty gritty. So it's 191 horsepower engine, 155 pound feet of torque. And even on Ford's, Ford's website, in too many places, they call it CVT. Folks, it's not a CVT. It's an E. CVT. It's a planetary gear set. A CVT is belt driven and by most considered not that reliable and kind of weird to drive. You know, you go up hills, high RPM, there's only one speed and many CVTs don't deal with the RPMs versus your speed all that well. And notoriously and historically, they have not been great for reliability. Now, this is an eCVT. Uh, Ford and Toyota worked on this back in the 2000s. It's very similar to what's in a Toyota Prius. And it's proven. It's a very good transmission. It's been proven in the Ford Escape for a number of years now. The eCVT is excellent, not having issues with it over the years for when it comes to reliability. So it's a 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine combined with an electric motor. The setup produces combined 191 horsepower, 155 pound-feet of torque. That's what the two working together will allow you to use. The drivetrain, well, the standard is front-wheel drive, but for 2025, you can have it as an all-wheel drive. It's very fuel efficient, 40 miles per gallon and 42 miles per gallon. So only two miles per gallon more if you get it as an all wheel drive. Now, when it comes to the battery, we will talk about what to do on how to use it in just a moment, but let's just talk about the battery. The battery is a 1.1 kilowatt unit. That's not that big of a battery. It's not that heavy. It's not that big. It doesn't create a ton of pollution to make this battery because it's not huge. And the lithium ion technology from Ford, the batteries have been very reliable and they are warranted for eight years or 160,000 kilometers or 100,000 miles. Good solid system. And this is a system, many all wheel drive systems that have an electric motor end up having what people call two motors, but technically four motors. You have one motor unit in the front and one motor unit in the back. That's not the case with the Ford Maverick. You have the one unit in the front and a drive shaft to send power to the back wheels. And the front unit for this hybrid, the motors, because it's two motors actually, it's one bigger motor, the larger motor, that's for propelling the vehicle forward. And then the other smaller motor is essentially a generating or a generator motor. So that's all about the regenerative braking. And that's where we talk about how this system works. So your regenerative braking motor, the smaller one, also controls the 12 volt battery to actually start the vehicle because there's still a 12 volt battery to start the vehicle. It's not the electric engine and the 1.1 kilowatt lithium ion battery that starts the vehicle. It is the 12 volt battery, and that gets charged up by the generating motor, the smaller motor. Now, the smaller motor works to capture energy. So when you let off the accelerator, it's gonna start, and many places say, you know, regenerative braking, and they make the mistake of saying you have to brake for it to regenerate. No, as soon as you let go of the accelerator, there's gonna be light, regeneration. If you press the L button and you're under 70 kilometers an hour, or roughly under 55 miles per hour, roughly with the L button on, you're going to get into a more aggressive regenerative braking and it's going to create energy for that battery. The system does not have any complicated plug-in, not, not just necessity, you can't plug it in. So you don't have to worry. There's Nothing that you have to add to your home. If you live in an apartment building or if you're out in the woods and you don't have electricity at the cottage or at your main home, that's okay. You're not going to charge this vehicle with electricity. The vehicle charges itself. It recharges that 1.1 kilowatt lithium ion battery when you let go of the accelerator and at a more aggressive pace when you hit the L 
button. Now, we've got a lot of people who are very qualified in this. I, we only owned our Maverick Hybrid for a few months. So Maverick Hybrid owners in the chat, please add in information, little tidbits uh, of knowledge that you have. Please go ahead and share that throughout the next episode where we do the build and price. So very, very fuel efficient. A lot of people are gonna be coming to Ford for the first time and actually the hybrid model on the Maverick, a little over 60% of the buyers of the Maverick are new to Ford. They, their previous vehicle, their trade-in vehicle was not a Ford. So many people are gonna be coming to Ford for the first time and many people are gonna be coming to a hybrid for the first time. And that's why I want to cover a general how to use it. So the big takeaway, you're not plugging this in. You're sort of no added equipment on the vehicle at home. Drive this like a regular vehicle. Just let go of the accelerator earlier to charge that battery more and use the motors up front in between the CVT transmission and the gasoline engine. You've got one on each side. You've got the gasoline engine, the CVT transmission, and you've got the electric engine on the other side, both feeding into the eCVT transmission. The unit, it's two motors, big motor for propelling, smaller motor for the regenerative braking and, and giving power to the 12 volt battery to help you know, recharge it so the 12 volt battery can help start the vehicle via a traditional starter. Most of this vehicle is just like any gas vehicle you've ever had. It's gonna drive just like any gas vehicle you've ever had and you don't have to plug it in. It's low stress low worries just get in one and drive it and if you don't your dealership doesn't have a maverick go drive an escape hybrid because it's well pretty much identical the, a little difference when it comes to the suspension now let's get into building this ford maverick so episode five here we'll be breaking these into uh, little episodes when we can when we when we find the time to do so so we've got the ford maverick build and price so let's start with price uh, because i think that's one of the main attractive features 